trick or treat, everyone. What's on the Halloween menu today? Poison apples! On a brisk fall day, you can find me at the pumpkin patch stopping for the classic tart red candy apple. But by night, I'm Snow White having my poison apples. This magical assortment of metallics, glitter, and a wicked black give this sweet crunchy snack a spooky makeover. So if you want to kick off your Halloween party with a killer treat, be sure to keep on watching! Let's get our apples ready by removing that waxy outer layer to help the candy stick on the skin. First, I'm bringing a large pot of water to a boil and adding in a quarter cup of vinegar. You only want to boil the apples in there for 10 seconds, then transfer them into a bowl of cold water. We're not bobbing for apples in here. If you look close though, there's pieces of wax floating around, which is so far so good. Next, slice a lemon in half and pour a generous amount of baking soda onto your plate, making sure to break up any clumps with a spoon. Dip the lemon into the baking soda like a sponge and begin scrubbing every nook and cranny. This is similar to exfoliating or giving the apple a facial. Once that's done, repeat the boiling and scrubbing process one last time. And guys, if it's your first time ever watching, join the party and subscribe. This whole month it's Halloween on my channel and you don't want to miss out. After giving those a good scrub, soak off the residue and dry them really well with a towel. These apples need to sit for 48 hours to allow the sap to come out of the pores. This prevents bubbles or pits from forming in the candy. Now I'm wiping off the sticky sap and removing the stems to easily puncture the center with these candy apple sticks that I added some bling on. Pierce through the core and hammer the stick onto the counter. And now for the best part, we're making all the magical candy coatings. Head to the stove and combine a half a cup of water, one and three quarters a cup of sugar, and half a cup of corn syrup on medium heat and I'm monitoring that until it reaches 300 degrees. Just make sure you are using a zipper pot, these bubbles are a little crazy. Once that reaches 300 degrees, remove from the heat and add in your food coloring. The black dye kind of gives it away if you guessed. This is our poison apple made with 8 drops of the black. Next, angle your pot so the candy pulls up in the corner and swirl the apple around two times or until completely covered. Lightly shake off the excess and place them to dry on a silicone mat. They are looking so wicked! Same recipe, different color. I'm adding one tablespoon of airbrush food coloring in gold metallic and it does not disappoint. If you are wondering, all the products I used will be linked down below in the description box. Literally, this is like dipping into liquid gold. If you liked this color, you will most certainly like the next one. So take that same gold and mix it with 8 drops of orange to achieve a luminous copper shade. You can literally dip any color candy apple as long as you work quickly so the candy doesn't harden up in the pot. And I recommend to avoid double dipping for a smooth surface just like this. This last one has to be my favorite. Here's two drops of white and six drops of purple for an electric purple base. The white gives it more of an opaque look. After dipping, I'm adding something special, so I'm letting this dry for at least 10 minutes before topping with some edible glitter. Once dry, place the apple over a pot of boiling water until it feels tacky to touch and shake on that glitter. I use Tinker Dust brand in particular because it is completely edible, non-toxic, and FDA approved. This fabulous selection is exactly what you need this Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below your favorite candy apple.